What's up guys, Monkey from VIP Shop Management. Today I want to talk about customizing the autocomplete labor. Let me show what I'm talking about right here when I type in, let's say, break, uh, booster. Um, see how it pops up? You can now delete, uh, edit any of them or add a new one too. So let's say, let's give you an example right here. Let's say drain. Yeah, you, we don't have this. So let's just copy this one right here and go ahead and add it. So to do so, it's really simple. Just go to general settings and then invoice settings and in the middle right here, add uh, edit slash add autocomplete labor. Click on that. The first, the way it works firstly, if you search for something, you can click on it to, you know, change it, let's say, you know, um, and then click update. It's really simple than that. But if you want to add a new one, just click on plus sign and type in whatever you want to add and just click save. It's really simple. Let's go check it out, see if it works now. Save, exit, last estimate. And uh, click on labor, let's say drain. It's right there. All right, um, I think that should help a lot because everybody has different uh, way of, of writing stuff and uh, like especially something annoying that you're doing it multiple times um, uh, and uh, now you can like add it and customize it the way you want to. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.